Hi my butterflies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you an affordable makeup look using e.l.f. Cosmetics. So given our current situation, I did do some online shopping and the products I purchased from Target, e.l.f. Cosmetics, and Kohl's. So everything from primer to setting spray, I will be doing a one brand makeup look. I will also be giving you guys some of my thoughts on the product as I apply them. So if you are interested in seeing the look that I create using the e.l.f. cosmetic products, then please keep on watching. So I will be starting off using the Poreless Face Primer. And this primer helps fill in enlarged pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. So anything in that nature, give it to me please. <laughs> so I am going to apply this all over my face like so right away my face does feel very velvety and my fingers just kind of glide off my skin that feels really nice I also ordered the poreless putty primer and this is what it looks like inside so I'm going to apply this just around my nose area and I'll also apply it like right here in this area because that's where I noticed that my pores are a lot more visible. For foundation, I will be using the Flawless Satin Foundation. So this is a satin finish and to blend out, I will be using the Total Face Sponge. So this is what the sponge looks like wet. It did increase its size. I also picked up the Professional Brush Kit. This is a set of 12 brushes. It does say all the essentials you need to create a simple look. So for foundation, I will be using the foundation brush to just dab it onto my face and then finishing it off with the face sponge. finish HD powder and it does say that the powder will fill in fine lines blur imperfections it does come with a sponge applicator so I will use that I'm going to swipe a little bit of the product and apply it here in this area so it does leave some of that white residue so I'll go back in and dust it off with a big fluffy brush I'm also gonna use this gonna fold it a little bit and then just use it like in my under eye area And I'll go back in with a big fluffy brush and just dust that away. To give myself a little color, I will be using the e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette. I did swatch them just so I can see what color would be best for my skin tone. So right on the box, it does say that the darker shades are ideal for shading and defining, while lighter shades are to sculpt and enhance your features. So with the bronzing brush by e.l.f., I'm just gonna pick up I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this color right here and then I'll mix it in with this color here. So this is my first time using any type of cream product, so we'll see how this goes. We'll use that and just apply it around this area of my forehead. And then just kind of swiping it down, bringing it down this area. And I will go back and blend it all. The formula does feel very creamy, it is very pigmented. So a little does kind of show up a lot. Okay, so I like how natural it looks. Uh, we'll go back in with the foundation sponge just to tap it and then kind of tone it down a little bit in all the areas that I applied the, the, con the cream contour. Next for eyebrows, I will be using the Instant Brow Lift. And this is what it looks like here. So it does come with a spoolie on one end and it has the product on the other end. So I'll go in with the pencil to define my shape. So I'm using a very light hand and the product is applying um, versus me kind of just carving it in. I'm just very lightly swiping the pencil onto, the, onto my brows and I can already see that the color is showing up. The product is very creamy. Okay, so I like that. And to finish off this brow, I will be going in with the clear brow gel, using it to comb my brows in the direction they grow in. 
going to do the other side off camera and I'll be right back. For concealer, I will be using the Hydrating Camel Concealer. And then I also have the 16 hour Camel Concealer. So I do like that very large doe foot applicator that it does come with. So like I said, I'm applying a little bit of both of the products just to see if I can blend them together and get my color. Okay, so I'm liking how this is looking. I'm liking how it is brightening my under eye area. My eyes look very bright on this side versus this side. Like that. You see how wide awake this side looks versus on this side? So let's go and finish off the other side. So now I see both eyes are very bright and they look wide awake. So I really like how creamy the product, the concealers are. I haven't noticed any creasing under my eye area and also it kind of just lies right on top of this area here where I do kind of have a little bit of my fine lines going on. Take my foundation sponge and just wherever I apply the concealers, just tap a little bit of whatever was left on my foundation brush. That way it can also help blend the colors together. In the Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. So is apply that and then use the other side of the sponge to blend it out. So it's going to help prep my lids for the eyeshadow that I will be under my lash line area because I do apply shadow to that area. I'll be using the cream and sugar palette here. And to start off that, I'm using the eye blending brush, also by e.l.f. So all the brushes that I'm using are also by e.l.f. So right away, as I'm applying the shadow, I already feel it very creamy. It glides on very easily. And also shows up. The color does show up very, very nice. So I don't know if you can see that on this eye, and then this eye don't have shadow. What I'm do is I'm going in with another shadow palette because I feel like that dark color is very dark. So I'm going to pick up this color here, also using the eye blending. And I will apply that color to this area of my eye, right here. Taking the same brush, and I'm, I'm going to dip into this darker shade right here, very lightly, and I'm just going to create like that V, sh v shape right here just kind of patting it in and dragging it but not taking it too far down. These are very pigmented shadows very creamy they do apply very easy and make blending very easy as well. So next I'm going in with this color right here and I'm going to focus that color the inner corner and then bringing it up halfway towards the middle of my eye Next with the blending, I'm going in with that darker shade from this palette right here, this shade here. And I'm going to just bring it as close as I can to that shimmer and then just blend it together. And then picking up a flat brush and applying some of the dark color along with the shimmer to the bottom portion of my eye underneath my lower lashes. And then using that blending, that eye blending, and then just blend it all together. Okay, so now that I'm done with my shadows, I am going in with the eyelash curler. And I'm also using the volume plumping mascara. Going in and giving my lashes a curl. How the lash is very tight. Kind of instantly just, like, I don't really have to, like, work so hard at curling them. Like, I will be using the volume plumping mascara so this is going to create a thick looking volumized lash apply a few coats of this mascara as i apply the mascara i like to use the tip of the wand to separate my lashes just so that they can look like they're all fanned out versus like stuck together right away as i apply the mascara i do see that thick dramatic look. I try to get a little closer.
Mascara, no mascara. So you can already see how volumized my lashes look. And in and I will apply to my lower lashes. And usually on the lower lashes, I don't really like to apply too much. Okay, so now I have mascara on both eyes. Kind of looks like I'm wearing falsies, but I'm not. So we'll be going in with a cream blush palette. So this blush palette does have four shades. You can mix and match them. Create your own color using the four shades here. So again, this is my first time using a blush cream palette. Take this color right here with the angled brush. I'll start off with a little and just apply it to the apples of my cheeks, circular motion. They are very pigmented. The color does show up right away with very little of the product. But if you're someone who likes, you know, it to be very bright and noticeable, you want to go back in for some more of that product. Very creamy, very blendable, easy to work with. It does create that very natural tint of color. I like that. Go in with my foundation sponge and just mix those colors together. Next for highlighter, I will be using the Feather Light Highlighter Brush. Mm. The brush is very soft on your skin and okay. so I will highlight the tip of my nose, a little bit down the bridge, my forehead area. I do like a highlighted glow. Go back in with the big powder brush and blend that. Next for lip stick, I did purchase these liquid lip matte lipsticks and this one here is in the color blushing rose and then this one is in the color tea rose so i'll swatch the first one here that's that color there and this color is blushing rose and then this one is tea rose so let's see what that one looks like i think for for this look i'm gonna go with this color here tea rose right here ice nice creamy formula it just glides on to my lips I like the applicator that it does have that point at the end where you can just use to define your lips like outline them and then apply the product in the middle so this is it this is what that color looks like i do outline my lips just a little bit just to give me that big plumped lip look so last to finish off the look, I will be using the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist Setting Spray. This is what it looks like. So on the box, it does say that the setting spray helps makeup stay put and controls the shine for a beautiful skin look. It's also infused with vitamin B, E to help hydrate and soothe your skin. So this is a lightweight formula which improves makeup's wearability. So here we go. I'm going to spray a little bit of this. Well... Probably a lot. Okay, so. Thank you so much for fluttering by. This is it. This is the look that I created using one brand, All Elf Cosmetics. Very affordable brand. I really enjoyed your company as I just played around with some new makeup. New makeup to me. What I liked most about Contour Palette, it was very easy to blend in. Very natural looking. I really liked that. I had been wanting to use blush. Um, cream blush palette and a cream contour palette and I found that these were very easy to use I, I like how the lipstick the matte lipsticks didn't crumble af after they set in place also really liked the face primer the putty primer I like that I can't see my pores um, the concealer hasn't settled into my fine lines or creased I also liked how the the bristles were very nice and soft I I just overall I liked using the products I will use them again I do um, I did like the setting spray it does feel it does set and you can kind of feel that matte finish but not too much where it's like like where your face is so tight where you can't even move it I like that it's very manageable it is a matte setting spray but my face doesn't feel too tight and I like that so thank you guys if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel also hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a video until next time bye